guys, today I'm doing a home update video on our bedroom and I haven't done a video showing you guys like progress on our bedroom since we first moved in. So to me, we haven't really done much but from what you guys have seen, it is a little bit more. So I wanted to show you just kind of like tell you my thought process on why I'm getting certain things, kind of the vision I have for my room, my room, our room and that sort of thing. Um, so if you guys are interested in seeing like the pieces that I've been getting for our room and that sort of thing, then just keep watching. Okay, so originally I wanted our living room to be a formal, more of a formal space. Like I wanted a lot of tufting and I wanted velvet and all this white and stuff. But I've just realized that it's not very practical because Andrew and I have a lot of people over and we like to you know, entertain and so the space needs to be comfortable for everyone. So I just realized that it's like what I had in mind originally is just not going to work out. So I'm basically taking my ideas for the living room and putting them into our bedroom because I'm now going to make our bedroom a more formal place. I'm also really obsessed with hotels. So, and it's always kind of been my dream is to have a bedroom that you walk into and you feel like you're staying at a hotel. So I just want our space to feel like very crisp and clean and um, I don't know, you'll see like from the things that I get. So I'm gonna cut to our room right now and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is kind of when you walk in, this is what it looks like. So I'll give you guys an overview of the whole room and then I will just go into specifics. So here's my tripod right here. Over here there's like this little nook. So I'll get to what we wanna do there in a second. Here are our new curtains. Here is our bed. And down there is Kyla's little bed. <laughs> she rips up all of her beds that we buy her, so we figured that's our old our old bedspread over there. And then over there is our bathroom. And then here is our closet. I'll stand back so you can see. Okay, so I am going to start with our bed because this is kind of the biggest change that we have made. So our previous comforter was three years old. It was just time to get a new one. So I found this one on Bull and Branch. It is, all their bedding is organic. It's really high quality. I got new sheets, this new duvet cover, and also the shams that match. I still want to get, you know, some cute throw pillows and a blanket to kind of, you know, make it feel a little bit more cozy, but I'm not really sure what I want all of my colors to be in here yet. So for the time being, this is what it's like. So the color that I got is the white in the pewter with this stripe. And let me just let you guys know, our bed, our actual bed is a queen, but I got a king duvet cover because I like our bedspread to be a little bit bigger. Our previous comforter was a queen and I just don't like, um, you know, any of the mattress to show. So I think it looks cool when you get just a size up. So it's just a little bit more luxe feeling, kind of more like a hotel. But I did want to let you know that because see how this, the stripe, it's supposed to go a little bit more inside and it, ours is a little bit wider because it is for a queen or a king bed, not a queen. So I just want to let you guys know it would be kind of a tighter look, like a tighter square if you bought the one for your actual bed. I also wanted to let you know that this company, they all their products are ethically sourced, so they bring business to places that are in need, and I just really respect this brand. They are doing good things for the world, and I they're just a company that I really want to support, and I want to share them with you because that's what YouTube is for, right? So I will link them down below if you guys want to check them out. My mom is actually going to buy some sheets from them because I was just raving about these to her. It's so funny because Andrew is obsessed with these new sheets. Like every morning, he is always just commenting on how soft they feel. They are honestly extremely soft. And then our bed frame, like the actual bed, is from Joss and Maine. I will link that down below, but I've mentioned that before, but we're still really happy with that. As far as our bedside tables go, so these are from our old apartments, which look super tiny now. So what I want to do here in this space is just to get some bigger bedside tables, kind of like a dresser or a chest with three drawers, just so it fills that space out more. And then I wanna get bigger lamps. I love wood wooden lamps, but I do want something a little bit larger. So we have this sign that I just put up the other day. We got this so long ago. When we first got married, I got this on Etsy. And I just think it's sweet and it just kind of brings me 
good memories because we got it right when we got married and it just adds like a little bit of a like accent but it's not super it doesn't take away from anything it's just simple so love that it's two pieces two wooden pieces and then over here so we are getting a new French door put in and we have had all of our windows replaced when we moved here we got all of our windows replaced two double pane windows except our this door because this we wanted a French door and the French doors are just more expensive so that is going to be put in in about six to eight weeks I'm so excited it's going to be you know like two doors that swing inward and I just think it'll kind of finish off this whole space as far as our curtains go I got these from halfpricedrapes.com they are the double wide curtain so this is a pretty big door it's 50 inches so I got two double wide curtains and they fit perfectly I got I think these are off-white I will link them down below to make sure but these are velvet and I love the look it gives it again it just kind of blends in I didn't really look at Kyla right there Kyla <laughs> um, I also got these hem they were super long they were 96 inches so I got about let's see a foot taken off but the size like the smaller size would be too small so these just worked out perfectly they're also blackout curtains I didn't really originally want blackout shades but I like the look that these ones have and I like the velvet they were just a really good deal so that is what we went with that I want to show you kind of closed what they look like so you can see how long they still are and I think again they kind of add like a <laughs> let's just find there like a luxe feel and they match perfectly with our bed so I really really love them. Hey what are you doing down there? Kyla I see you all right see ya. all right moving along so now we have this little nook which is right here and over there is you can see how it continues to our closet so in this area I want it to be a little bit of a seating area that that's gonna go it's just there for now but what I have kind of in mind is two upholstered chairs right over on the right side kind of angled in a little bit with a little round table in between and maybe an ottoman and then on the left I want to do a big floor length gold mirror right there so that is what I want to do over there and then I wanted to show you guys this mirror so that's gonna hang right above that molding right there. I got this off of Wayfair and it's so big. I didn't realize how big it was, but I love the shape of those mirrors. So I'm gonna put that there just to add a little bit of like a black accent because we have so much white going on here. I needed just a little bit of contrast. Okay, moving on to the closet. So first I wanna talk about this bench. Okay, we got one from Joss and Main. It was the oval one, I'll insert a picture. It looked really funny. It looked um, just too small for the space. So we ended up selling that to uh, my mother-in-law because she needed it for a room anyways. And it was really beautiful, but it just didn't work. And it was in a linen color. It was just too much linen going on. So I found this one. Actually, Andrew found this. I was like, look for a blue navy ottoman. And he found this actually online on World Market. I love the color. It's so rich and luxurious looking. It was very inexpensive. I think it was like two... 30 which is pretty good for these like if you're looking for these online they're pretty expensive so um, and I love the legs on this it's very sturdy when you sit on it to like put your shoes on I'm in love so they had a bunch of colors too so we got that finally that was like what we were looking for for a long time um, our dresser which the drawers aren't even all pushed in sorry <laughs> the dresser is from my from growing up I've had that since I was a baby and I just love it. I think it's just cute and it fits a lot of stuff. We keep like our underwear, our socks, and bathing suits, and I put my sweats and pajamas in there. So that is what goes in there. And then I have my jewelry on top. It's strange because this window is offset. It's not centered. So um, it's kind of awkward with the dresser and the ottoman. They're not lined up. So I might find another mirror to lean against the wall to the left just kind of put that there to kind of break up the space not too sure yet or I might like hang a little curtain up there and just drape it to the left so not too sure about that yet okay so before this was shelves in here so we took those out and just made this one long pole one long pole down here so Andrew has all this stuff here 
and then I have my stuff here, so I have my pants down here. I have like sweaters, then I go to flannels, and then blouses, and then we have t-shirts, like short sleeve t-shirts, and then tank tops down here. It just works for me that way, I really like it. If you guys read that book that I was talking about, The Art of Simplifying, she talks about hanging your stuff from low to high, and I love it. My hanging rack over there is like that, I don't know if you guys noticed it, but it just kind of like looks nice and clean. And then over here I have some more dresses. I'll take those dresses off there and put it on here eventually once I get that situated, but um, here is like long maxi dresses, I have robes, and then my wedding dress is over here tucked away. Um, so that is this side. Here is a little close up of our dresser, kind of how I have things stored right now. This is like this marble tray that is from an estate sale. And then I just have my perfumes on top. And then this, I don't know where I got this. I think I got this at TJ Maxx. I have my watches and just some chunky bracelets. And this guy, I have all of my like beaded bracelets, which I wear basically every day. And then at the bottom I have earrings, which I never wear earrings. And then on this thing I have my rings. And here I have bracelets. I freaking love bracelets. And then on this little tray I have my delicate necklaces and more beaded bracelets. So over here I have all of my jackets, except like my rain jackets because they're in the office. They're just bulky, so I keep those in there. Here I have their hats, like Andrew's hats are up here some purses and then this is all of my scarves and like an extra purse i got rid of a lot of purses when i did my declutter we have belts here um like small purses i just hang on this this is just temporary i don't know what i'm gonna do there um and then we have shoes here so basically we wanted these to be level if you remember before they were like all over the place so we made them so well this one isn't perfect but we wanted them to be like semi you know even so I wanted to order, organize them like by color and shoe type. So up here I have heels, black heels, nude heels. I basically just wear like nude and black shoes. Um, wedges into booties and then like heavier boots, higher boots. Up here I have, you know, flats, um, flat, sh like um, vans, just flats. Here are Andrew's shoes. I have sandals over here, flip-flops, my Ugg boots, and my running shoes are in there. Here's our hamper. I think it's so cute. We got this at Home Goods. Um, and then down here I have my workout clothes. So I have those folded in here along with my like sleeping t-shirts. Let me show you this because if you guys read that book, you'll be proud because I fold my clothes like this still. This is like the method that she does for folding because you save so much space and it just like lays the clothes standing up. And I love it. I never fold my clothes. I usually throw my clothes into the drawers and Andrew is like, cannot believe that I'm folding my clothes. It's a crazy thing, but that book has changed my life. So anyways, that's here. Uh, we still need to put a little shelf up there to kind of cap it off, which is why we have all these down here. Um, but we just haven't gotten around to that so and then I want to change these lights I don't know if you guys can see them in the shot I don't think you can because they're not cute but I'm not sure what to get yet so that is the closet so that is it for today's home update I hope you guys all enjoyed this make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like these home decor style videos I will have links to everything that I talked about down below and I will see you all in my next video bye oh my god like with this closed it still perfumes my house I don't know why, if I just open it, it's like I already smell it. It reminds me a lot of leaves from Bath & Body Works and I'm gonna get a